Hi, my name's Julia, and today we're going to talk about palindromic numbers and try a game with them. First of all, a palindrome can be a name or a number that reads forward the same as it does backwards. For example, let's try the word Anna, or the name Anna. If we were to spell Anna backwards, we start with A, N, N, and A. And we get Anna, same as when we wrote it forwards. A number that would be a palindrome could be, for example, 989. If we were to write it backwards, we would go 9, 8, and 9. 989, the same as when we wrote it forward. Also, single digit numbers can be considered palindromes. 1, 4, 7, you write them backwards, you get the same number. So let's try a little game. I've got a two digit number. I'm going to draw a space for each digit. And the product of each digit equals 25. So what's our number? Well, if it's a palindrome and it's only two digits, we know that each digit has to be occupied by the same number. For now, let's call them x. Now, as I said, the product of each digit equals 25. So that means that x times x equals 25, or x squared equals 25. And you can solve for x by taking the square root of both sides, and we get that x equals 5. So our number is 5, 5, 55. And that's a palindromic game. Thank you.